so much for joining me. I'm super excited to be showing you today a standing stretch sequence. It's just 10 minutes long, so get yourself together and let's get going. All right, so start with your feet together. You're gonna turn your toes out and then turn your heels out so that your feet are underneath your knees, which are underneath your hips. Your feet, hips and knees are all in line with each other. We're gonna rock the body weight onto the toes and then onto the heels onto the toes and then onto the heels and then find halfway. Take your hands onto your pelvis, rock the pelvis forward and back so that you're tilting your pelvis, really engaging the lower tummy and the pelvic floor. So if all the way forward is 100% and all the way back is 0%, find halfway, find 50%. Pull the tummy button in your spine, stand up nice and tall and relax your fingertips down and dry your sides. We're gonna do some big shoulder rolls, taking the shoulders forward, up, back, down and around. It feels so nice. Get the body moving around in a big circle. Really get the shoulders moving as much as you can. And we're going to change direction, taking the shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, and down. Good. Let's do two more. And then do one more. Okay, then taking the arms up all the way up to the spine, taking them back around in a big, big circle. And again, taking them forward, up, as big as you can, so we're really taking the fingertips up as far as you can as well. Let's do one more. Good, well done. I'm going to change direction, taking the fingers back, up, forward, and around in a big circle again. So taking your arms back is actually quite difficult. You want to take them back as far as you can, so you really stretch through the front of the shoulders. We're going to do two more exactly the same. chin to the chest and we're going to imagine there's a, a marble between your chin and your chest so you're going to rock or roll the marble from shoulder to shoulder dropping the chin to the chest rolling it from side to side good and the last one Perfect, then bring the chin back down to the centre and then look up in, in front of you. We're going to look as far over to the right as you can, then look as far over to the left as you can, looking as far, far, far over your shoulder as you possibly can, so you get a nice twist through the whole of the upper vertebrae. Then if you look right as far as you can, drop the chin to the shoulder, then look up again, this time uh, taking your ga gaze over towards the left, then looking down towards the shoulder, then looking back up again and back to the centre. Perfect. Now we're going to bring the right ear to the right shoulder. If you should have to feel a nice stretch all the way down the side of your neck here, then take it back to the centre and then left ear to the left shoulder. Back to the centre. Good. Right ear to right shoulder centre and left ear to left shoulder. Beautiful. Now taking the right ear to the right shoulder, then look down to the floor and you'll feel the stretch go from the side to slightly towards the back of the neck. Then look up in front of you again with your right ear to your right shoulder. Come back to the centre, we're going to take left ear to left shoulder. So you feel the stretch down the side of your neck and then you're going to look down to the floor and you'll feel the stretch go towards the back of the neck then. It feels so nice. And look straight back up in front of you and head comes back up to the centre. Perfect, well done. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing now. You're going to take your hands out to the side, take them up in line with your shoulders and you're going to curve the back, bringing the hands forward. Imagine you're hugging a your big teddy bear, link the fingers and push the fingertips away. Tuck the chin to the chest, pull the tummy button into your spine really stretching between the shoulder blades. So you're opening up between the shoulder blades, imagining that you're hugging a big teddy bear. And you're gonna take the hands behind your back, link the fingers behind you, and then push the fingertips down towards the floor, stretching across the shoulders, the front of the shoulders this time. Look up towards the sky as well, so you're really opening up across the chest and the tummy. Good, and then breathe in, arms come up to the shoulders, and then you're gonna take it forward again. So you're making that C shape with the spine, tucking the chin to the chest, imagine you're hugging a big, teddy bear or a big tree, tummy button into the spine, already said that, 
and open up the arms. So your thumbs are pointing upwards, then you're gonna turn your thumbs under, then you're gonna take your fingertips behind, link the fingertips and push them away from you, taking your fingers down towards the floor, open up across the chest, kind of look up towards the ceiling, but not all the way up. You don't wanna crunch your spine, so you're kind of looking up towards the corner of the room if you like. We're gonna do it one more time. So the arms come up in line with the, chest, with the, with the shoulders. Breathe out, form a C shape with the spine. Lift the fingers, tuck the chin to the chest, up to your button in the spine. Really enjoy the stretch across the top of the shoulders. Keeping the shoulders low, drop them away from your ears. Then open up across the chest, thumbs pointing up. Then you turn the thumbs under, take the hands behind, lift the fingers and push the fingertips down towards the floor, taking the shoulders away from your ears. Out, let it drop. Ooh, that was heavy. Take a deep breath in, hunch your shoulders up. Breathe out, let it drop. One more time. Breathe in, hunch your shoulders up. Breathe out, let them drop. Good, perfect. So now we're going to need a little bit of balancing, but you can hold on to the door handle or the side if you want to. We're going to take the, the knee up to the chest, holding onto it with your hands. So if you can use both hands, then great, but you need to make sure that you've got a decent amount of balance. If your balance is a little bit tricky, then you can hold on to something next to you. So you're really hunching the knee in as far as you can. Everybody's different, so it doesn't matter how far you're bringing it up, but ideally you just want to bring it up so you can get a nice stretch through the, through the hip and through the knee. And we're gonna change sides. So you can either turn around, or you can uh, work out what you're doing with your arms so that you're not crossing over too much. So you've still got your hip, your knee, and your ankle all in line with each other, holding it there nice and strong. We're going to do some hip circles now. So taking your hips around in a circle, big, big circle, sticking your bum out backwards as far as you can, then bringing it forward. So you get a nice stretch through the side of the body. We're going to change direction through the hips and through the glutes as well. Now, bringing your feet together, you're going to take your left arm up as high as you can, reach up as high as you can, really, really tall, lift up a bit further, and then lean over towards the right, so that you get a nice stretch down through the side of the left body, then look up towards the sky, enjoy that stretch through the side of the left body, take a deep breath in as you breathe out, try and take it a bit deeper, what I mean by that is reach out further through the fingertips at the top back to the center we're going to change sides reaching up as high as you can with your right arm reach up even further now reach up further <laughs> and we're going to take it over towards the left enjoying the stretch down through the right side of the body then turn to look up towards the, the ceiling reach down further with the fingertips take a deep breath in and as you breathe out reach further through the right fingertips shoulder stretch so we're going to take the left arm out to the side we're going to take it across the body now what's important here is that you don't let your shoulder hunch up you want to keep your shoulder down you take the arm across the body and then you can use your other arm just to help it come across a bit further so try not to force it try not to let your shoulder sh shrug up either you want to keep it low enjoying a nice stretch across the body change sides. We're going to take the other arm out to the side, take it across your body, holding onto the fingertips and then pulling it across. Then we're going to take both knees into the 
centre. So your body weight's in the centre now. I'm going to bend both knees. My back heel is still on the floor, and so is my front heel. Muscles engaged. Then you're going to transfer the weight into the back foot, bending the back knee, extending the front leg. My toe is on the floor. Then I'm going to lift the toe up. Beautiful. Let's go on to the other side. So start with your feet together. You're going to step back with the left foot. You're going to push the left heel into the floor, bending the front leg. Keep the, le keep the left heel pressing down into the ground. Then lean forward from the hips. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then we're going to reach forward through the fingertips, up by your ears, elongate through the body. hands onto your hips, move your body weight into the centre and bend both knees, keeping both heels on the floor. Then you're going to transfer the weight onto the back leg, bending the back knee, extending the front knee, keeping both, my front toe is on the floor at the moment, then we're going to lift up the front toe. give yourself a bit of a shake well done guys thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that standing stretch session and i'll see you back here again soon for a seated stretch session thank you so much for joining me i hope you really really enjoyed it as much as i did remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you again super super soon